Well, so it looks like we're going to have some pretty good weather for what could be the Citrus Bowl's busiest week of the year. Yeah, with two college bowl games heading there in the next five days, including a matchup between Florida mm -hmm. and Michigan. A lot is happening right now to get the Citrus Bowl ready. News 6 reporter Troy Campbell joins us now live from outside the Citrus Bowl. And Troy, thousands of people are going to be pouring into the stadium tomorrow night and then again later this week. Are they ready for all the fans? Hey, we walked that field this afternoon. The field, it's all painted, all the logos are up, everything's set to go. Now, once the Russell Athletic Bowl finishes tomorrow, crews will immediately begin flipping the stadium to get ready for the Citrus Bowl. So, that's going to keep not only their own grounds crews busy, but also busy businesses nearby. The 26th annual Russell Athletic Bowl now just hours away. The city of Orlando expecting more than 100,000 fans to enter through the Citrus Bowl's gates over the next few days. It is 100% nonstop, but we've had these games here for several years, so we're used to it by now. Um, so it's nothing new for us, but, uh, but we have a great crew here at the stadium uh, that's uh, able to do it and pull it off really well. With Baylor Bears and North Carolina Tar Heels fans arriving in town, food establishments nearby, like Graffiti Junction, are expecting this to be the busiest week of the year. Basically, just coming in today, our truck order is double what it normally is, just because we know for a fact that we're going to have some of the highest sales that we've had since we've been open, just because of the bowl games. General Manager Casey Sparks says he spent the past month hiring new staff just for this week, cashing in on the extra tourist dollars the bowl games are attracting. We're fully staffed where I couldn't staff another server, another bartender. We have bar backs and we normally don't. We have outside bars and we normally don't. So it's just basically getting set up for a huge event in Orlando. Soon as the end of the fourth quarter hits, the work isn't done. Crews then have two days to flip the stadium for the Buffalo Wild Wings Citrus Bowl, essentially working nonstop. Right after the game's over, we'll start clear cleaning all the stands with, uh, with our cleaning company. Uh, we'll start scrubbing the field, getting all the logos from the Russell Athletic Bowl off the field. And then as soon as uh, all that all that's scrubbed off the field, we'll start putting down the paint uh, for, for the Buffalo Wild Wings Citrus Bowl. And city officials also say with all the renovations that happened here over the past year, it was really important to them that the bowl games were able to stay in Orlando, making Orlando the only city in the country to host three bowl games, because remember the Cure Bowl took place back on the 19th. Also on the minds of many, security. So we asked officials about what safety precautions they're taking, and we'll be able to tell you some of the items that may seem harmless to me and you that actually will not be allowed in. That's coming up at 6 o'clock. Back to you. All right, Troy Campbell reporting live outside the Citrus Bowl tonight. Thank you. And